Hi guys and welcome to the CPAP Mama. So today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to mask fit your full face mask. And for this uh, demonstration I'm going to be showing two full face masks. The first mask I'm going to be demonstrating is the Fisher Paykel Viterra. Um, it's a new mask. And one of the nice features that I really like about it is um, for myself and so for other patients that have a little bit um, of a little bit of a higher bridge, it has this roll technology. So you don't get that a lot of the pressure on that bridge. Um, the other thing is it has like a mesh headgear part in the back, which is nice, especially in the summer months when you kind of get hot and sweaty. So um, that and then the clip is really nice. Okay, so let's get started. First and foremost, as you can see, before you do anything, if you're a woman and you have long hair, I always recommend that you put your hair up just because it does make um, the fitting with the headgear different. The other thing is, of course, take your glasses off. The third thing I always recommend is that you turn your machine on. Again, a couple of reasons for that is if you have any dust particles in your tube, the pressure blows that out. I personally do not like just putting a mask on without any air blowing. It makes me feel very claustrophobic. And then last but least, in my personal opinion, I feel that when we have the pressure on, it just creates a better seal with the mask. So I'm gonna start you off with, again, showing you how I fit with the full face mask. So, might be a little loud, but let's get started. So I'm gonna turn my machine on. Oops, there we go. So with my left hand, I'm gonna hold the head gear like this. I always kind of flip it back. I'm gonna start at the bridge of my nose here. Pull it down. Up. And over. Holding it with one hand. Pull back, switch hands. Reach back, grab it. Got a seal for it. Pull it back, okay? So I have a nice seal, but let's say I was feeling a lot of pressure or air blowing up here in my eyes. What I would first do before I touch any of my straps is I would undo and I would pull it away from my face and I would reseat it. Okay. That's what I would do first. Now. If I was still leaking, okay, what I would do is I wouldn't adjust my mask while I'm sitting upright. I would then lay down, get my pillow the way I would use it when I sleep, lay back. If I'm leaking in my eyes, I would adjust these straps here, bring it on just a little bit, nothing too tight. And then I would adjust the bottom straps. What I do is unfasten, allow it to leak a little bit, refasten. Now, there's also a strap on the top here. If you needed to adjust that, usually you don't need to adjust it once you make your initial fit. Okay, that's it. You have your oxalation port here. Okay, quick disconnect. So when you have to get up to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, I always recommend, I leave my mask on because let's face it, if you're half asleep, taking your mask on and off is going to be a pain. Okay, so you go to the bathroom, you come back, have your, and attach it. Okay. Got the swivel hose. And then to take it off. And then you reverse those steps. Like that. Okay. Real simple. So let's. And then when you take this off, you just kind of bend it like that. Okay. So my other mask that I majority use is the ResMed. Air Touch F20. Okay, so attaching your tube and go like that. Um, one nice thing that I really love about this mask is get the magnetic clip. Okay, the other thing it's got memory foam. I really like that. 
and then a quick disconnect here goes like that so again what we're gonna do is turn our mask on or machine on head gear in my left hand I'm gonna flip it back and again I start at the bridge of the nose and get it seated up and over that one see it's a little little easier okay now the big difference this does not have a head bow okay so I like that I mean if I really wanted to put my glasses on I mean I could squeeze them in there if it was really a little awkward but I mean I could get it done okay so same thing with this mask if I felt that it was leaking I would pull it away from my face and reseat it However, if it's still leaking, same thing. Always lay down. Adjust. And then readjust. Okay? So, and of course you can hear my dog barking because that's life. All right? So, that's how you fit. And then again, to remove it, go to the bathroom, come back. And just snap that on like that. Okay? So, I'm going to take it off. Up and over. Okay? So, that is how to fit a full face mask. Um, another tip when I'm not using my mask, I put it hanging up. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and have a fabulous day. Bye, guys.